Hello ladies and gentlemen, Dark Yellow here. So today, again, I'm on the UK5 server, Keen server, and I'm going to show a little side project I've done. So I'm right here next to my laser antenna. It's uh, communicating with another laser antenna over there at my other base. And of course, my favorite power source, self solar trackers, solar panels. <laughs> vanilla model uh, but the top one is in shadow that's why it's not correct okay so on the other side uh, the other base it's basically where the refineries are and the assemblers are this base in itself is just a shipyard we keep some of the ships here and this base just has cargo very specifically I actually did not put up any assemblers here or refiners here so if we need anything we have to ask the other base to produce it to manufacture it and then for example what I have here is we will go to dark one now I've seen this problem today I don't know why it's today but basically I can go to production on the other base and I'm supposed to see the assembler options the production options on this screen but at the moment for some reason it's not there all right so other option I do or I did this morning that worked I for example let's queue up a jump drive under build planner gonna go in again gonna go across to dark one uh, access its terminal could be because it's a little bit laggy so if you press that button uh, it automatically queues up your assemblers to produce stuff so let's see that's blank for some reason click that nothing is starting could be because the connection is bad so we'll try again Hmm. Right. So usually what I can do is I can order up the production on the other base and then for the things I need here. Now the big question is how do I get it from that base to this base? Of course I can use a ship and fly over, jump over, collect the stuff. But what I've done is that little blue ship you saw, I'm going to use this as a ferry, transport material across. Now, first thing I have to do is be in an area, position, where I won't die. Because uh, you can imagine, this is out in space, and I'm going to run out of power, I'm going to run out of oxygen and die while I'm trying to control another ship. So, get into this uh, basis cockpit or control chairs. Okay, going to empty the ferry, just to make sure that I'm not carrying things back and forth that I don't need. Now, at the moment, you can see the ferry is not showing up on my terminal here. So what I can, what I have to do is go to connectors and disconnect the ship from the base because at the moment it's kind of on the grid. But now if I go to remote access, you can see the ferry has shown up. All right, so we're going to pop in and take control of that ship. Now the interesting thing is that you can see here is third person view does not work with remote controls. Uh, at the moment three, third person view is centered around me sitting at the shipyard, but not centered around that ship. So it's always something that you have to keep in mind. You're gonna have to use cameras to control your ship, view what's going around you. And the vanilla cameras is a little bit finicky. So the other big thing is I am also gonna make sure I pass within the range of one of my antennas just to make sure I don't lose control, don't lose connection with the ship itself. Now, for example, me outside third person flying the ship, 
you still have to have a antenna radio connection of that ship. On the Keen service, laser antennas controlling other ships is not working. Uh, as soon as you do it, X meters from you, the connection dies. If you even can get that connection going. As soon as you move the ship, the connection dies. Alright, so... Uh, as I said, you have to use a radio connection. And in this instance, I'm going to use, be using the normal antennas. Now, if you control a ship from your suit antenna, suit antenna has only got a 50 meter range. My antennas are set up that I do have a relatively safe range to go. So, first thing is I have to get out of the safe zone because you can't do a jump from the safe zone. And what I've set up is two jump drives. One jump drive is to jump to the other base and a timer that's going to start a, uh, a remote autopilot. And that remote autopilot, I'll explain in a second. So I've got the second group. Second group also is a jump drive and its timers. Now, of course, I could only use one remote or two remotes specifically I would have to need. But uh, rather than programming the jump drive every time, I just got it on the hot bar. On this side, I'm just going to press a button and the second button. On the other side, I'm just going to press a button and then the other button. So, the big reason for these timer blocks is when you're in control of a ship like this, uh, you can't initiate autopilot uh, simply because you are in control of the ship. So jump, start the timer. Now as soon as I jump, I'm actually going to lose connection with that ship. It's going out of antenna range. So I lost it. The timer on the autopilot on the other side is going to switch on after 10 seconds and hopefully, without me losing a ship, hopefully it is going to fly back to dark one. That's why I also have the two separate autopilots. Again, don't have to do the GPSs every time, etc., etc. Uh, so, usually a jump is what? One, two kilometers from a base or a target if there's a base there. So, I just have to be a little bit patient. Oh, so also the big thing that you can see here is I'm still at the shipyard. So, I have to switch over to dark one. going through the remote access trying to see <laughs> to make sure that that ship is showing up still not there so let's hope it survives right, dark one I can access still can't see the production I don't know what's up with the lag could be the lag could be the problems and my ship is still not there should we start worrying oh wait very popped up so as I said the autopilot brings it into uh, antenna range so for now I'm just gonna let it fly in all the way to its designated spot and when it is stopped then I will take control over again uh, again when the autopilot is on it is kind of tricky to take control of a ship when the other remote is on so just to check uh, remote is off yeah and then I can take control and as you can see again <laughs> third person view I'm at the shipyard not over at dark one I'm not over at the other base so on the hot pass on the bottom I've got my settings uh, front camera so I can see where I am let's try to see the base All right there's dark one drop ship on the right top gonna come down a little bit uh, the front camera is in line with the rear connector so that might make it a little bit easier uh, the one thing i do wish was that you could pan cameras there's a nice mod that you can do it with but unfortunately, with, uh, 
vanilla cameras you can't do it so I switched back around over looking over the shoulder one of the rear cameras swing around swing around swing around all right now trying to line it up and looks about okay switching camera now I do have to <laughs> learn uh, it's about the first time I've done this with this ship uh, so I'm still learning its camera positions I do tend to a little bit high too but a little bit too low and of course as you can see this camera is actually a little bit offset to the to the right hand side so I can't see the connector up until I'm really up to it I can't see what my connector is doing so I've got another camera uh, it's got a down view but as you can see I'm now too close to the basis connector it's tricky <laughs> flying by camera <laughs> uh, so I'm too close connectors are bumping have to move away a little bit away away not forward or not reverse backwards that's the other problem uh, remote is looking forward so technically speaking this is the back of the ship so uh, control switch around left is right right is left hmm I'm still too low high All right but it seems I will get it up I'll get to the right spot uh, all right not bad not bad takes a little bit of practice to as I said, first time I'm docking the ship through this antenna, through the remotes. Okay, so, ferry cargo. And what will we take? I think I'll take some superconductors. So, click on the left, click on the right, click on the left, it goes to the right, click on the right, it goes to the left. Okay, I'll take some uh, thruster components also. Hmm. I must come back and neaten up this <laughs> these cargoes of mine. It does reduce lag a little bit if uh, you got the same things in one place. All the stuff in one con so for example, all your superconductors is in one container. Uh, all your thruster components, construction components, if they're all on one container, it does reduce lag. Alright, so again gonna go outside the safe zone to make sure I can jump because if I'm not outside the zone I can't do the jump rear camera I think I'm outside let's see oh I actually just left it right next to the zone so first thing first again find the antenna same reason again the relay antenna honestly broadcasting the furthest of my antennas so i'll keep the connection longer i know from this position so basically we're going to do the same thing again in reverse we're going to choose the shipyard jump drive and we're going to choose the shipyard timer again timer is going to start the autopilot on the other side uh, timer started jump initiated and now we just have to wait so again hopefully <laughs> streaming so i think my ship jumped in within uh, within five kilometers three kilometers streaming starts that's basically the ship gets uploaded into your world and there we go ferry on the left port so again i can actually uh, if i was on the other base i could order the ship to come to me or whichever way I, whichever base i am i can do the whole process the same uh as also interesting enough as it's a jump drive i can actually order it say for example one of the people one of the people wake up or is in a cryopods or spawn pods in the other base wants to come to this one but there's no jump ships at the other base he can order 
this ferry to come across, take control, bring the ferry across to the other base, get in it, come to this base. And of course, vice versa, if I wanted to, there's no jump drives on this side, I wanted to go to the other base, uh, ferry happens to be on the other base, I can call it, control it and bring it over here. Again, the front camera is in line with my rear connector. So it should help me to line up from this position. But again, I'm going up nose high, nose down, nose high. So uh, I'm going to be out of line again. But with a little bit of practice, if I learn in orientation or the orientation of my cameras to the ship's body, I can basically figure out where to aim to get the connector spot on. So as you can see here, I'm thinking one block right, one block left should do it. But I have an idea one block down rather than one block up. I shouldn't go up, I should go down, I think. Hmm. Yeah, that, 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 that. Because again, if I come in now, I, yes, I should go down. So it's not right and up, it's right and down a block for me to get the connector down. On the right orientation. Practice makes perfect, people. Do this a hundred times a day <laughs> and I'll do it in my sleep. All right, ship connected. So I could be do this, doing this from the other base, vice versa. Uh, shipyard cargo, just transfer it in. Um, now you might ask, ask me why do I use small cargos? Um, it's a little fun side project. It's not a major supporting ship, maybe a major cargo ship. And on the other hand, it's also PCU wise cheap ship. So I could have gone with large cargos. Uh, so as you see, there's the rear camera, there's the docking camera down. So from the rear camera, yeah, actually should be one right, one down. This is also a rear viewing camera, just over the shoulder of the Gatling there, front view. And we have another camera going to the front but watching over this Gatling shoulder. And then at the rear, we have another one that is just sneaking under the, the ship. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's interesting. <laughs> All right, so thank you very much, everybody. Have a wonderful day, and hopefully soon I'll have something else that's completely interesting and you guys will enjoy. Bye-bye, everybody.